Pranam and welcome back to yet another episode of Jainism Simplified. Today we'll be addressing a very fundamental question that both Jains and non-Jains seem to be asking and that is, does Jainism believe in the concept of God? Now, Jainism does believe that the universe and its substance are eternal in nature. It has no beginning or end with respect with time. The universe runs on its own accord with its own cosmic laws. And all the substances are always constantly modifying and changing themselves. And therefore, the universe has nothing to create or destroy. Which is why there is no need for anyone to manage the affairs of the universe. Which is then clear that Jainism does not believe in God as the creator, preserver or destroyer of the universe. But Jainism does believe in God as a perfect being. When a person destroys all his karmas, he becomes a liberated soul. He lives in a perfect blissful state in moksha forever. The liberated soul possesses infinite knowledge, infinite vision, infinite power and infinite bliss. This living being is God of Jain religion. Jains believe that since the beginning of time, every living being is attached with karma and also it is in delusion state of its true nature. The main purpose of religion is to remove this delusion through self-knowledge and self-effort. This knowledge will remove karma which are associated with it from the beginning of time. When all karmas get removed, the soul becomes a liberated soul. Now such souls who have liberated themselves can be called as Arihants or Siddhas. So let's go ahead and understand these two fundamental concepts really very well. Arihant. When a person destroys his four Ghati Karmas, he attains Keval Gyan. He has regained the original attributes of his soul, which are perfect knowledge, vision, power and bliss. He is omniscient of the past, present and future forms of all entities, whether they are living or non-living beings of the universe. He is still a human. He remains in a state of blissful condition for the rest of his life. Arihants can be classified into two categories. Number one, Tirthankar. Immediately after attaining Keval Gyan, if a person establishes the four-fold religious order, which is Sadhu, Sadhvi, Shravak and Shravika, also known as Chaturvedat Sang, then that person is known as Tirthankar. He preaches the Jain philosophy, religion, ethics, conducts to his followers. Jains believe that 24 Tirthankars are born during each ascending and descending part of time cycle in this region called Bharatkshetra of the universe. No two Tirthankars exist at the same time. Generally, a Tirthankar is born when the religion is at its depression state. The new Tirthankar revives the same Jain philosophy. He gives a different form to the religion practice, which depends upon the time, place and the social behavior of the human society of that time. Number two, Sadharan Kevali. Well, let me clarify that there are eight different types of Kevalis, but for the purpose of this video, we'll only be considering Sadharan Kevali or Simple Kevali. The difference between a Tirthankar and a Simple Kevali is that the latter does not establish the religious order. He remains in the state of perfect blissful condition for the rest of his life after attaining Keval Gya. In the religious scriptures, the name Arihant and Tirthankar are interchangeably used simply because Kevalis do not play any active role in the religious order. Tirthankar is also known as Jinnah, Arihant, Arhat, Arhant and Nirgranth. Tirthankar is the founder of fourfold order of Sadhu, Sadhvi, Shravak and Shravika. Jinnah is one who has conquered his inner passion such as desire and hatred. Arihant, one who has destroyed his inner enemies such as greed, anger, desire and hatred. Arhat, one to whom nothing can be secret. Arhant, 
a spiritual acquirement leading a man to the state of an arihant nirgrant one who has gotten rid of all knots of attachments all the tirthankars and kevalis go on to become siddhas after nirvana and once they become siddhas they all have equal qualities however let's spend a little more time in understanding the concept of siddhas all tirthankars and the kevalis go on to destroy the remaining four aghati karms in this present life and when they attain nirvana they become siddhas now that is the time when they become totally free and liberated they are free from the birth and death cycle they do not possess body they do not feel pleasure and pain joy and sorrow they live as a pure soul in an everlasting blissful condition at the top of the universe which is known as moksha or lok akash the quality and attributes of all siddhas are same however they still maintain the equal identity and form for example lord mahavir soul as a siddha possesses the same qualities as our shri gautam swami or shri bahubali soul so that we are you now understand how jainism looks at the concept of god in conclusion let me also share with you that jainism believes in the concept of shraman dharma which is effort based religion which very clearly articulates that every atma has the potential to become paramatma which in the sense means that both you and i have the potential to become god and that's jainism simplified